guitar on eBay about 10 years ago uh, cost me 70 pounds 70 quid probably then looks like about 110 dollars US dollars worth used obviously it was battered the original finish was uh, kind of a matte natural finish I, I, it's been it's been done up a few times since Nothing, nothing's happened to the neck. This neck is it's rock solid. It's just maple, and with a rosewood fingerboard. Uh, changed the nut a few times. Um, other than that, the neck's the same. Or the string trees may may have changed over the years. I have, there's a Gelvin eighty four and a Seymour Duncan fifty nine in the, in the in the neck. It sounds great. It really does. configuration is just a, it's just one CTS pot for the for the volume and then there's a there's a push push and what that does is uh, change the the neck so that it's either either in parallel series well, that's, that's series and that's parallel so you can get almost a kind of single single coil kind of nasally twang but it's actually still humbucking so there's no hum. I 
refinished it a couple of times. I refinished it about five years ago. Took all the finish off that was on it and uh, cut the bend the, the edges off there and put some binding on and uh, stained the whole thing. This this um, reddish, I don't know, brownish colour. Uh, it, it was it was the same colour on the top as well, and that that wore down to the point where the guitar looked really battered and old. So. It's now got this this nitro finish on it, which is quite nice. I'm quite pleased with it. I did it myself. Uh, it's not perfect by any means, but it looks the job. Uh, I spoke to a friend who's, who's um, a luthier, and he, he gave me some ideas about what to do. And um, so this is the result. Pretty pleased with it. It's got um, obviously it's got two humbuckers in it. It's got a volume and a push push uh, switch. Tone control. See more Duncan fifty nine. See the switch cuts out. It's the same switch that came with the guitar. So. Every time I hit it with some uh, switch cleaner, I think, I think it just corrodes it a little bit more. Spank for a humbucker. It's actually part of a pair. Uh, the other one is in the, the Wash Bear and Idle. I did the review on a couple of years ago on, on YouTube. So this this pickup uh, went into this guitar about I don't know, three months ago. I've gigged with it since. Uh, I, I, I liked it straight away. It's got a different character. It's called the 84. It's supposed to be wired in, in the kind of uh, the same way as the, the Van Halen um, humbucker that he put into his Strat years ago. 84 was, was the album, wasn't it, with their uh, Drop Dead Legs and Jump in Panama. I'm uh, pretty pleased with the, uh, with, the, with the result. Like I say, I'm going to need to change the switch, but that's easy done. Beefy uh, bit of Metallica there, but that nice beefy, boom, heavy, um, <laughs> and then it's, it's, the definition is really good from the from the. That's that. I used to uh, the the bridge was um, 
covered in you know underneath underneath the the it's just really dusty so so every now and again I put I put a, one of those um you know the the cotton bud things that you put in your ear to clean your ear I put put inside there and, and it, but then after a while it gets kind of caked so put it in the dishwasher which worked really well it's come up nice and uh, shiny but the the chrome finish is starting to wear off now and, and uh, there's another bridge on the way. So that's it, the humbucker loaded Yamaha Pacifica.